Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Alien Storm on the Sega Master System. And this is a game request by Robert Clark on YouTube. Right, um, the other only 8-bit version i played is the Commodore 64 version and the Amstrad CPC version. And obviously, recently played the Sega Mega Drive version, that was awesome, that was just awesome to play. Um, so let's give the Mega Drive version a chance. Right, so let's. Okay, let's go into start the game. Right, so we choose. I think we can only have two characters in this version. So we're just choosing all normal or hard. Well, obviously, we're going to go with normal. Because I'm not the greatest game player in the world. I've uh, got to say, this is all right. This is all right, but you know, you can't compare eight-bit with sixteen-bit. But, but you can compare eight-bit with eight-bit. I mean, it's a little bit slow. I can roll about. Okay. I mean, having two buttons is definitely. In, in, uh, an advancement um, or an advantage I should say because with the Commodore 64 version and Amstrad version you only had the one fire button so having two fire buttons is a hell of an advantage but it's walks a bit slow but if you um, do a roll it's a little bit quicker to go I mean, it plays pretty good. Plays pretty well. Right, so I'm almost. Oh, if anything, it might be a little bit more. I don't know because I, I honestly can't remember if the what level. I think the Mega Drive. Continue, yeah. I think the Mega Drive had an easy mode. I'm not sure now. But it did seem more easier to play than this version. And you've got to start all the level. You've got to start again. So you only get the one... Oh. So it looks like you only get one life per continue. It's definitely, it definitely seems a lot, lot harder than the Mega Drive. Maybe the Master System version may be cut down, I don't know. So they may get a little bit harder to play. Maybe that could be the case. But I don't know. Oh! I mean, if you had a map, um, a master system back in the day, and you had this game, I mean, you wouldn't have been disappointed. I mean, it plays pretty well. Foods. I see my life is right down already. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Oh, so now we're going into the store. That's where things get interesting. Oh, this bit looks pretty good. Oh, what? Game over already? Right, where's it going to make me continue from? Don't tell me I've got to replay the... Oh, no. Good. I'll just hold your fire button. Hold the fire button down. That'd be better. Okay, this is pretty good. Um, this part, well, especially this this part's pretty good. It looks looks quite nice. So just destroy everything that you see, including the aliens. Right, even the backgrounds I've got to destroy. Oh, 
Oh, once you have, then yeah, just move on by itself. So that's life points. You got life points and energy points. The energy points obviously is your health. Yeah. Um, no, the energy is your weapon. Sorry, and the L is your life. But my energy on my weapon don't seem to be going down that much. Unless it doesn't do that on normal mode. Well, it does, but it doesn't go down so much. I don't think. So that's it. That's that part of the level done. Mission two. See, this is the part where you lose your, start losing your life. But you got, you got to shoot everything on the screen before you um, progress, because it says go when you do. Buddy, come on! So at least when I lose my life, if I lose my life now, at least I continue from this stage. My energy's right there. Oh, fucking come on. Right, just roll out of it. Ah, oh, bollocks. I couldn't roll out of it. Yep, let's do a continue. Let's use my last credit. I don't think I don't think this video is going to go on too long. Not as long as the Mega Drive version. That one just seemed more easier to play. I quite enjoyed that version. Because maybe due to the fact it was easier to play. Uh, this ain't bad. This ain't bad to play. Obviously, 8-bit computers and consoles were very limited what they can do. So that's squeezing as much as they possibly could within the, within the limitation of the system. Oh, looks like I'm going to die. Well, at least I've got to mission two. Have I got one more continue at least? No, I don't think I've got now more continues left. All right, so that's Alien Storm on the Mega Drive, not on the Mega Drive, on the Master System. Yeah, it's not too bad to play, not too bad at all. Um, I can't remember. I was going to compare it to the other 8-bit version, but I don't know. This one, I think this one, as I said, had an advantage because you got the two fire buttons. Um, it did play pretty well. I honestly can't remember what, how the Amstrad and the Commodore versions played now. It was a while ago since I did review them. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.